All right. Hey, how you doing? Hi, how are you? Pretty good. How's everything? Good, good. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad that you were able to uh, get this to me because uh, it wasn't that bad. Uh -huh. like, were you able to review the M20? Yeah, I did. I was looking at it last night when you sent it to me. Okay. Yeah, it was like, I think today would be nice because um, I haven't had a chance to, you said you had an assessment, right? Yeah, it was supposed to be on Thursday, but um. He moved it for me for Monday after school. I can tell you what, like, what the basis of the assessment is. I had a meeting with him and he told me pretty much like okay. everything that I kind of missed of him explaining it. So he said that it'll take 40 minutes, 40 minutes. Okay. and it'll be um, two parts. So the first part will be like multiple choice, mm. true or false, fill in the blank, stuff like that. Okay. Um, and then the second part, so the first part will be 20 minutes. And then once I'm completed with that, then I have to go to the second part, which is writing a short program. And then this is all online? Yes. Okay. And then will he be big brothering it? Will he be there? Like watching? Um, he's going to be, I'm going to be like um, on a Zoom, but he has meetings with other students. So he's going to put me in like a breakout room by myself. Uh, but he will be monitoring that time and everything. Yeah. In, in a sense just not watching yeah okay. exactly um so i would say yeah like so it's theory and application that, that's really what it is but like how um how good are you with the concepts like i know you, there was like um, the multiple choice stuff yeah i'm pretty fine i can send you actually um the okay like practice pro like the practice multiple choice that he posted yeah um it's yeah, probably just gonna be that really like do you want to just share if you want to share your screen that we can probably go over it oh yeah i can do that yeah um let me let me stop this one. chapters no chapter five i want to say um yeah test practice questions 
Oh yeah, were you able to look at that uh that link? I think the 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 website I sent for like concept wise. There's a bunch of things there. Yes, I did. Oh, you did good. Yeah. Usually that's right, like, let me look at this. All right, so those are some of the ones. Okay. Um, uh, did you did you try to answer these ones? Yeah, I tried. I he told me about it like right before I got into the plane, and then my Wi-Fi crashed in the plane, so I couldn't like <laughs> yeah. uh, like Delta wasn't like the Delta Wi-Fi wasn't working, so I couldn't do any of that, and I just got in last night. Oh so. my. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's try to um, maybe like for the first one, we'll we'll, we'll look at it. Uh, okay. How many questions are there? Let's look at it first. One, two, three, four, five, six, six without counting the. Oh, so that's the last one. Okay, I see. So that was the last. One. So most of it will be the technically uh, if the test so like twenty minutes for the code, and then like you could technically use the codes we've been writing, right? Hmm. You could technically use the codes we've been writing on the on your project. On yeah. Your projects, right. So like. Yeah, the, because I. Don't that's yeah. not really that bad if you could just use. No. I think the hardest part probably is just like getting the concepts. Because concept wise, do you have? Are you able to? Uh, is he saying that you can access the internet for these ones or no? What do you mean? So, oh no! no, no. Questions. I don't questions. think so. Okay, I don't so think so. Okay. I think we can use our notes. Let's, I think you could use your notes. Okay. But I was gonna email him anyways today and, and double check. Okay. He said I can use my notes then. <laughs> That's yeah, great. There's usually some limit to like you know open open notes, open internet, mm -hmm. and like there's a limit there. <laughs> like usually they say it's yeah, only yeah. open notes. Uh, okay. Uh, so for this one, what do you think it is? For the this for, oh, what? Did you just happen? <laughs> um, uh, what happened? Um. Happened. Like, okay. like that. Okay, there. Okay. I don't know. It was like. Okay. Yeah. So for for these ones, let's try to attack some of them. Um, maybe it'll be good. Like, do, do you have notes on this guy, the primitive data types? Um, no, because this actually super convenient. Yeah. Um, I wasn't there the day that they did notes on this oh, because my, I okay. it was like la it was at the beginning of last week. Yeah. When I left, but he still included it in the test. Okay. So for this one, um, I guess I'll just, I'll just tell you, it's, uh, it's usually eight, like there's eight that primitive. Okay. And so it's like more than six. Okay. I'm gonna write this down because I can't answer it on there. Okay. And I, I guess um, let, let's talk about, there's the byte, like that's like the first one. Mm -hmm. And then you also have the, um, the short. Okay. And then this one, you're, you're probably familiar with the integer, I, I, N, T. Yeah. yeah. And then you also have the long. Long and short are, they're just like numbers with decimals. Mm -hmm. And same with the byte. The byte is, um, well, what is a byte? The byte is 8 bit, right? Right. And then the short is 16 bit. It's just two times the byte. That's how many characters you have. And then the long Sorry, is. Sorry, you broke up. Say that again. You so broke the short up. is two times the byte. Okay. So the, the short is like 16 bit. Okay, got it. And the byte is 8 bit, right? Right. And that's just the definition from the byte. And then the long, the long is 64 bit. Okay. Go okay. Ahead. And then and then the other four, uh, the, what we have is float. Float is the fifth kind. Okay. And a float is just something with like, float and a double are kind of interchangeable. Um, okay. yeah, th there are numbers with decimals, Got but it. a float is only 32 bit. Okay. And then the double is 64 bit. So it's the same as long? It's the same as long, but yeah, you have to know the different, like what I would say, if you go to the website, it'll tell you most of them, just know the definition and in case, for this one, it's not that bad because it's asking you how many. Right. So maybe sometimes it's gonna ask you a true or false. Right. Yeah. So just like maybe uh look up an example for each one. Okay. 
And then the last two are called um, bullying. Bullying is pretty obvious what it is. That's true or false. Right? Right. Okay. And then the other one, the last one is character, car. Yeah. And then usually these ones start with um, like a backslash. Okay. Both of them? Uh, just the character. The, the Boolean one is only, is the word true or false. That's the only thing it takes okay, in. And then um, if they ask you if a string is a primitive, it's not. A string is not primitive. Like, okay. like a, a string itself, uh, you know what that is, right? That's just the words with the yeah. quotation marks. So a string is not a primitive data type. Got it. And then uh, what is primitive though? What does it mean when it's a primitive data type? Um, Do you remember that one? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we were talking like about- So the, they're, the, so by definition, they're like keywords. You can't change them. Okay. Like, so they're predefined by language, but you know, by Java and then they're keywords, you know, they're like, they're like okay. re reserved words, but a string, a string is usually something you can change. Okay. Got it. And then you usually say that when you say, when you change something, it's called immutable. Like immutable means you can change it. A string is immutable. Okay. But the primitive data types, they're not immutable. They're not immutable. Okay because they stay the same. A lot of these code things is like knowing, uh, especially for the exam, they're gonna test you about definitions. Right. Yeah. Okay, um, let's, uh, let's take a look at the next one. What is, what is this B2D4? What, what the heck does this stand for? What <laughs> I thought it was uh, like one, two, but at first I was like, what the heck? I have it? no idea. What I, is this B2 <laughs> and then D4, there's no, there's no sequence in there. That doesn't make any sense. E5? Maybe he found. Maybe these are questions from the textbook. That's the only thing that I that would make sense. Oh. Like from oh, chapter yeah, five, right. like B two. I I don't know. Oh, you have ten minutes only for this. Yeah. Uh no no no. This was just like he said that if we like for us to time ourselves for this okay. whole thing, ten minutes, and then in AP classroom, which I was trying to look up. Yeah. Um. Let's do that real quick. He had um oh why is it making noise? Okay, um it says e, wait, um there was like a th a thing of like maybe no oh, very fun. Mm. Um it was like um like a mini assessment just for us to study that yeah, right here is uh, okay. time limit of 16 minutes. That's and good. these are a bunch of other practice problems that he put in there. Yeah. Um, Have you done them? No, I haven't done that yet. I was going to do it today. Okay. Yeah, let me know if you need help on those ones. Okay. I, yeah, I, I've seen some of those questions. Yeah, let's, uh, let, if you need help on it, just let me know. Or send, you can always okay, print, print PDF them. Or maybe yes. like, if you, because uh, maybe he'll bring up some of those, you know. Yeah, and then he also sent me something. That was, um, let's see here. Um, no, I already met with you. Oh, here, wait. Okay, so this video he sent me. Okay. Which was just um, a vi like a, a recording of his class, not my class because, you know, being that I have amazing luck, my class uh, like recording of our class that day was deleted off of his computer. Uh, so it's uh, the other class. Yeah. Um, and he just took the watch from like there to there. And it was just like, I think an explanation more of what was gonna be on the test. I was gonna watch that later today, but. Okay. I mean that too. I think it, it, it won't be that bad as long as we do the, so this is the review only, right? This is, this is it. This is, is the anything? review. And then that, this is the review. And I think, that's it. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, we'll just expand on it. So there's not much problems, but um, well, that you have to be confident about each one, like each of these problems. Right. Okay. So okay, D four. I guess let's look at that. So this is what I was telling you. Like, uh, you have to understand the syntax. Let's look at this first. So what is the result from the following statement? Okay. 
n equals 2, p equals 3. Okay. So what, what do you do first? I guess this it's always good to explain. Right it. here, I'm confused. Okay. So right there, like where the comma is? Yeah. Where it's yeah. like 2.5 comma y. Okay. It just means you're assigned. It's the same as the, the top one. If you look at int and double. Okay. So you can technically, the reason why they're doing this, you could do this two ways. The reason why they're doing this is to save um, typing the double twice oh. in the int. Okay. So like in, you just, they call this, uh, you declare it, the data type, you're declaring it, right? Mm -hmm. And in the moment that you put an equal sign that's assigning it. So when you declare it, they're declaring it like for all of them. What are, they okay. don't want to put in another set or another like line of int and double. Uh, so, okay. So X and Y are double and then int, N and B are in integers. Okay. And then here you have like three assigned ones already, and then Y is the one you have to calculate. Oh, uh, okay, got it. And then you have to did you have to be careful with this one because um, you know how Y is double. I think this isn't that um, that big of a deal because Y is double. If Y was int, then it it cuts it off or something because like you're not casting anything. Right. But like. For this one, just uh, bring down all the given values and then just like times it or use a calculator. Okay, let me grab my, um, is it? okay. So do I have to like, wait, I'm gonna write this down. Do I have to like, okay, so what, what was I about to say? Um, do I have to input these numbers down into this yeah that's technically okay. what it is because the very first thing like is you're given something right you're right okay and then, and then you have to calculate so usually that's what it is yeah Five times two plus three divided by two divided by two okay i'm gonna do that on my calculator oh you even, you even says there's an error message okay so that's like you really have to know like the, the code and what it's doing. <laughs> Even says in the bottom error message. Let me just, <laughs> let me just see if, um, because for the most part, there shouldn't be an error message if you're not casting or if you're doing an int to a double. Right. But if it's like a, a double to an int, I mean, y, okay. Then let's see, y equals. Y would equal 2.0. If there isn't an error message, because if there is, then. Let me just see if I'm, I'm gonna run this. Okay. The program and. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's why. Okay, let's see if this one runs. Okay, so what did you get? 2.0. Two? Two? Mm hmm I'm getting, let me see. So that's X times N, right? Mm-hmm. And then B divided by... Oh, wait, wait, I, I calculated it wrong. Okay. <laughs> Do that again. Okay. Um, so, so you could technically for these ones, you could technically just use your, your Java because it's, you are allowed to do that, right? Yes. It's not like you have to like, you're, you know, you're in class and then you don't have your yeah. computer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, I would just. Do you know how you, you we, we talked about these ones like um uh like now I don't know did you try practicing some of the ones I gave you the, or the ones that you had already like yes you know, I started I went over those while I was in the airport I pretty much was just looking over all of them and like um there were a couple that I still had like errors in so if I wasn't fixing I was trying to like fix those errors Okay. And then once I had the whole uh, program like correct and it was running, 
Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Then I just pretty much just went back and went through each line and like made sure I understood either all of it or like most of each line, like why I was there and stuff like that. Okay. So did you try typing this or like, you know, in Java or what? This? Yeah. Just still like to check yourself. You always want to check yourself. Yeah. Like, yeah. um, you know, you're doing that in the calculator, right? And, and then like, you, you, you always want to yeah, check yourself. Yeah, I did it in the calculator. I got 3.25. Yeah, but if you if you actually do the, the Java like way, it gave me like 3.0. Really? Yeah. I did, I did um, 2.5 times two. I got five and yep. then I did three divided by two I got 1.5 yeah. and I added those together yeah and I got 6.5 and divided that by two yeah and then it would be 3.25 right like yeah if you were doing it in a calculator yeah or like uh, mental math but then like if you do it and that's why if you do it in Java you always want to check yourself I get 3.0 so how would I do that would I just like write it down um, you have to do the whole public class. Okay. Like okay. Void. I get lazy, so I do this. Wait. Um, open. <laughs> we just write this real quick. You have to practice like doing this really fast. <laughs> oh, I'm good. <laughs> just like what I would do is uh, just have the template there and then just change the class and then the okay. statements. I'm going to name this. Um... These ones are like a freebie, you know? Like if they give you this, it's like totally a freebie. Because um, it's already like in front of you. Like you could, you can just type it. <laughs> right. Okay, there. So, focus. Um, it runs the value to the newest integer. Yeah, there's, I take forever to type these out. Wait, oh my gosh. It's fine. Yeah, you need to um you need to be able to type. Like the more you type these guys and check what they are, the better you are at like anticipating what they would be. Why is it pink? Do you know why it's like just staying like that? Um, can you share it? Oh, can you not see? Oh, you can only. Oh, yeah, do I'm not. That yeah. One. Wait. Um, you could you could share the whole screen, by the. No, let me do that. New no, share. Um, it won't let me. So I guess it's just gonna let me do this. Oh wait, yes it will. Okay. There. Let me just hide that there. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it now. Okay. Do you see that it's yeah. like? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, um, that's the name of it. Make sure you, you name it the same. It's the same. Okay, that's good. Yeah, it's the same. And then what else do I have to do? Yeah, I literally, oh my God, this stuff. I could not type this fast for my life. <laughs> yeah, that's why I would like use the one that you've had before. That's why I always have like a collection of Java programs. Uh-huh. Yeah, I just look. You don't. You don't have to keep on writing all the, like the necessary stuff, because those those things don't change. Only there's only certain things that change. I'm copying this. I'm too lazy. Okay, there. Uh, let me take this out. And so then I told my teacher that I was like, I was keeping usually this like when you write this to explain like what's going on. What did he ask? Like. Did they- yeah, he was like, he he had me stay after class one time and he was like, well, oh I God. noticed in all of your programs, you know, yeah. you describe what's going on. I'm like, he's like, how'd you learn to do that? I was like, oh. How'd you learn how to do that? <laughs> he's like, oh, well, that's really good. And I was like, thank you. Oh, you and said he said that's goes, really good? Okay, yeah, sweet. he goes, just make sure not to do that on the final. And I was like, okay. Why, why? Because it's, it's He said that it would take up time. It will, it will take up time if you don't have it pre-programmed. <laughs> That's, true. That's true. But yeah, I mean, in the end, it's it's really just passing the class. So as long as exactly. you do it, <laughs> as long as you do it fast, that's good. It does take okay. up time, yeah. So do I just like input this? Yeah, 
I, okay. I want to see how you input it. This is this is the reason why I want to do it from scratch because then okay. I, I, I kind of you know you'll it'll build your repertoire in like exactly. Long. It's really what it is. Like you can't just watch and uh, you know like know what you're doing. Right. <laughs> yeah. So I really wish that was the case. Yeah, for the most part, yeah, like you either love coding or not, and a lot of people they hate it because of that part. Yeah, usually like um, if you if you're gonna be learning like Python as well, Python is another language, right? That uh, pe people do like it because it's easier to. You could technically that's the only language probably that you can like read, and probably remember, without actually performing the work. Hello. Whoa, what happened? I don't know. You just cut out, and then it said that you left. <laughs> That's so weird. Okay, I think my internet was being weird. It's been doing that for a while. Okay. Really? Yeah, okay, wait, I'm sharing time. again. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, okay, this I really think is not correct, but that's what we have right now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, try to, uh, the very first thing is like always declaring, right? You always have to declare. Okay. So everything you're doing, uh, like for this why, mm -hmm. why itself, uh, yeah, you have to make it into a double, right? So at the beginning yeah. of a why, you put double, just put double. And then you always have to suppress what did, like you always have to put that semicolon right at the end of it. Yeah. Okay. And then like, it won't print anything because you didn't type in that system that out. That print. Oh. And that's all, yeah, it's like, you just have to print something. You have to write all these things, but that's just what it is. What do I write? Do so, I just put that? So in, inside the, so just send that out, print that the print line, that's a whole command. And then it takes in an argument. So you have to put in parentheses. So it's, it's, it's a command, right? Or a function. So you, you have to, like you have to pass it uh, an argument. So do you see how it looks on the on how we programmed it? There, you, you have to put something inside, right? Just look at how right. we programmed it. Yeah. Kind okay. of like how we programmed it. Wait. So you oh, have to put it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I gotta. What is, what is that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like a cat is scratching it's like, somewhere. It's like, wait, listen to this. What the, yeah, what is that? <laughs> so on the, like, wait, can you see when I, my, the thing that comes like- the, Yeah, the okay. top so, right thing, yeah. Yeah, so I have the, the MacBook Pro, like the, the new one. So whenever okay. I click on like shift or caps, or no, I won't do it with caps, or like command, it'll, <laughs> um, whenever I you see. click on it, it reminds you, so you don't do it accidentally. It's and so then irritating if you though. Keep it on like hold. Yeah. You keep it like that, so it'll stay in command until you take it off. That's the new one. My God. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's good or bad at the same time. It's like the exactly. same thing as like the cell phone, you know? Yeah, because then if I like click it accidentally and it does that again, then I have to like click. It's it's too much for me. It bothers me. What, whatever. <laughs> I, I can get used to. It. Okay. So, anyways, um, yeah. So what you have to put something in it, right? So what do you do? Wait. Do I have to do it like that, or do I have to put a space? No, I put it like that. Um. I'm thinking. Okay. Well, I have to find what y equals. It's already equals that, right? Like you already did the calculation. Right. right? The one thing that's wrong here, though. Let, let, let's just do, go step by step. Um. So let's put in. I'll put the y inside there. Yeah. Put okay. y. Yeah. And then like close it. And then like the semicolon. Oh. To suppress it. And then, what do you do next? You, you need to close your. Yeah. Your method, yeah, right? Your yeah. main method. Yeah, you have to do no like that yeah and then you have to do again to close yeah it kind of reminds you like if you look at it yeah i like when it highlights it um okay, okay. do i try and compile it yeah try compile it and see what you get oh oh, oh wait i have to, cl <laughs> to close this one okay Okay, now run it. I think it's good. Yeah. 
This is 3.0, right? Did it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. So it's 3.0. But the thing is, like, you have to do that fast. It, th this is how yeah. you do it. But yeah, let's let's just take a look at it. Um, you know, and let's see the choices what we have. I think 3.0 was one of them. Yeah, it was right here. It's very like just that you know small thing that you know mm -hmm. changing a double into an integer. Mm -hmm. I think if you, if you had it as all integers or like all doubles, mm -hmm. then like it will be 3.25. But for our, but in this case, it's 3.0. So, sometimes um, the more, you know, the more you get into uh, Java, you can track all those things. But then for okay. now, uh, my best bet is just when it gives you code and then you, you need to like perform like, a, you know, a calculation or correct it. Mm -hmm. If you have the ability, you know, or they're not, the, limiting you to not using it. Sometimes um, teachers do do that. Like they want mm -hmm. you to really just like, use your head in like figuring this out. But for, for now, since you're allowed, you're allowed to do it, just do that. Okay. So yeah, okay. so this one we have, let's, let's take a look at the next one. Okay. And the cast is applied to a double value. It rounds to the, the value to the nearest integer. Okay. So, when you're doing this uh, INT cast, this is just a concept. Um, when mm -hmm. you're doing like INT, mm -hmm. like you're changing a double, converting it into like an integer, mm -hmm. it, it, it rounds it down, not to the nearest integer. So this okay. is false. I'm gonna write this down. So it rounds it down. Yeah, and then like let, let me let me expand that one. So um, if for example, what if you had like a pot? It's so easy if it's a positive number, right? Like what if right. you had like int two point one? What is that rounded down? Two point zero. Yeah, and then what about this one? Easy if it's a positive. What about int negative five point one? It rounds it down, yeah. Right, so it'd be six. Yeah, so okay. that's, that's just a thing. You just have to okay. think about that because, like, maybe I think for this exam, um, I don't know if they're gonna do it. a lot. A lot of times, they sometimes they test your skill like that, not just ask you the concept. Okay. So that that's another thing. That's an example, and this is the concept. Yeah, one would be negative six, and then like um, three point one would equal three. Okay, great. And then like, um, I guess, I guess on top of that, um, mm -hmm. cause there's, there's like, besides like the rounding down, mm -hmm. uh, cause they could ask this to you too. What if, what if you had the round function, round function, you know, the, um, the statement that they had, it said like close round to the closest or nearest integer. Yeah. That's actually associated with the round function. This is the round function. Okay. And, yeah. The round function rounds it to the nearest integer. So they were trying to trick me. Yeah, for the most part, that's always the case. Okay, let's look at the address and clear it. Write a Java statement that declares a character constant and assigns it to a literal value. Choose the money sign. Mm, a literal value. Okay. Um, what I would do, so you have to write it. Uh, what, what do you think? Uh, just, I guess, type it and see what it is. Okay, wait, let me close this. Close. Um, I'll just do this. What's the name? It's the silly thing that they called it, G12. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is, yeah, uh, yeah problem G12. Uh, problem G12. Oh, okay. Um, okay. See, again, you have to... I would just copy and paste. Yeah, I'm <laughs> it's really like it's gonna take up your time. You don't want it's like the cheat sheet, right? Like uh, you, you have to just the things that are that are already there. You need to just like have. Okay. 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 So. What is it saying? Like. 
the the skill is like I, I want you to um, I guess explain to me what it's saying first. Okay, write a Java statement that declares a character constant and assigns it to the literal. Okay, so the literal value is this. Oh well, let me highlight. Boo. Okay, it's this. this character, yeah. So money sign. Assigns it to a literal value, a money sign. Okay. So it says a a character constant though, not a character, not not an integer constant, right? Right. So a character constant. Wait, what? What did I write? Oh, okay. So can I just like pick like a number? Would, so, I, have put, would I have to put this? You have to you have to know what the um the money the money sign is. It's uh <laughs> no idea what the money sign is. In characters, I think this is what it's asking. Uh as part of it is like knowing what the character, let me see. Do you guys have like a book uh like a table that tells you what that is? No. Oh wow, okay. Character code force. Let me see this one. Because the money sign, the code for that. You know what I'm th talking about though when I say the code? Yes. Like there's a code for these um characters. Like right. the, the like four numbers or three numbers. Let me see what it is. Right. Like, like right here somewhere. Yeah, we don't percent, have a per, per, percent. Oh, there you go. I think I found it. So the character for this guy is 044. Let me see. So besides knowing this, you also have to know like more, like more, yeah, the ampersand, the pound as well. Right. And I think it'll be good to have that handy. Yeah. Let me, what you could like type is probably um like let me, let me look for this one. It's, it's usually called the you could put characters in java like um, main characters in java codes mm -hmm. um okay i found something mm. No, it doesn't tell me what. I wonder what would happen if I inputted this question in. <laughs> <laughs> and this look for the answer itself. <laughs> I don't think that I don't think it would come up though because I've like even tried like before I had you as my tutor. I like looked up. I tried to look up the answers online and nothing it's came different. up. Like he's you, you quite to, an original. You have uh, to, what you have to do is a uh, like for. You have to be at a certain level because like the question can be different, but then it right. can ask the same thing, you know. But then yeah, that's why you have to like really know what it's asking. Exactly. Because <laughs> there, there's some synonyms that let me see. So character, maybe part of the and it's like are true. It is letter. Okay. Um I'm trying to figure out if it wants you to do it in the actual symbol or the actual you know character code. Right. Okay, there's if it just wants you to do the symbol, that's easy. You just do like constant. You should. You just do final car, um, and then it says what well, declares a character constant, and assigns it to a literal value dollar. So let's see. I wouldn't be surprised if he made it made us do it like the more difficult version. He's just like that. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Well, we need to go both ways then. Um, right. In, okay, integral literals. Okay, so I think you do have to because it's a literal. Yippee. There's, there's like four types. There's the binary one, the hexadecimal. Uh -huh. You've probably heard of the hexadecimal. And then like octal yeah. form and decimal form. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Ugh, Quizlet flashcards really aren't helping a girl out today. Try typing. Uh, there we go. dollar sign. I think that value I said was like zero four four, right? Zero. Oh. Hexa value. Yeah, we'll probably just do the hexa value. Uh, it's a hexa value of dollar sign. Yeah. 
Yeah, Safari is just lost. <laughs> Safari is like, I don't know what you're talking about. Why, why are you trying to ask it? Oh, I just inputted the question and just <laughs> gave me nothing. Yeah, it's a, so okay, let's, let's take a look at the, uh, let's put in like literal value. If you want to look for it, for it with me, it's Java literal value for dollar sign. Java literal, literal value for and then dollar sign. Okay, value for dollar sign. Okay. And we're trying to look for like the hexadecimal or like some type. That's what a hexadecimal is like the literal value. Okay. No need to memorize these things. Java literals. Understanding the M implementing Java literals with code. Um, Here we go. Character literal. Okay, never mind. I think it just wants you to actually put that in a, in a single quotation mark. Okay, I see, I see, I see what he's asking. Okay. I, it's not actually the value, it's just the literal value. So what that means is instead of using uh, double quotes, you just have to use a single quote. Like and put in a dollar sign, the actual dollar symbol inside. Okay, so I would just put final. Yeah. And uh would that be with a capital C or just a lowercase? Well, it's a small C if it's a primitive. Primitive uh, character, right? Is this cart? Okay. Um, and then would I just put the dollar sign? And then you have to assign it. So you you declared it when you do final car, you declare it's data type, and then when you put in an equal sign, you have to also car is the data type, right? Right. So you have to name it a variable. So final car, car, what? Like, what's the variable? So you have to put in like maybe a character, declares a character constant. So maybe just put in result or something. It doesn't matter what you put in here. The only thing that matters is the, the constant, which is final, the character data type equals, the result equals. And then, so this is a character, right? So he wants it to be, when you put when you when you define a character, it can't be between two quotation marks. It has to be two, between two apostrophes or one sing, or single quotation mark. Apostrophes. Like or apostrophe. <laughs> yeah, no worries. <laughs> Why would I? Okay. Um, where's the dollar sign on my keyboard? Oh, here it is. Do I close it? Wait, I'm confused. Yeah, you have to uh, enclose it with the single put single oh. mark, the, the apostrophe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK. Oh, and then do I have to put that? Um. So for this one, like, it has to be both an apostrophe, right? Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. My bad. That's my. <laughs> <laughs> OK. I'm tired. <laughs> no, no worries. Yeah, I know jet lag probably. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why it's like I usually don't, um, you know, especially you have like an exam coming up. Easy yeah, stuff. I went to bed at like <laughs> nine o'clock last night. I was. <laughs> All right. So for this, you always have to suppress it, right? Right. Like, well, in technical, uh, with the technicality, like if you if you uh, account for those, yeah, you have to do it. But in this question, I think it just says write a Java statement yeah so i would probably just write it there like what you did in line number nine okay so just and then, that and then make sure you put a suppressor you need to put a semicolon he's gonna get you for that one. Oh yeah okay yeah he yelled at me last time because i forgot to put one. Oh really wow <laughs> yeah he was doing like a review yeah. like he was using like I, this um website that he would ask a question and then we'd all like anonymously write the answer and, and i you, wrote in a statement without the semicolon on accident and he oh, goes yeah? who put this i was like it was me he goes what did you do wrong yeah i was like i see yeah that's it i'm that's sorry funny. i mean like yeah he, he wants you to be on the ball you know yeah like, yeah, yeah. You, 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 but you he doesn't do it in like like a mean mean way like it's kind it's of like, ha -ha funny but like yeah, i see <laughs> but like please don't hurt me yeah okay let's try see though like um if this runs so like just just do the whole, you know, the braces, like the, the double braces. Oh yeah, whoops. Um, wait. 
Oh my god, where? Okay. No. Okay. Oh. Okay. Awesome. Also, it turns green when it's oh. not I see. I keep forgetting to close that file. Okay. Um. Line file. Oh. Oh, well. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. I was like, oh, what, what the heck? I was like, what? Yeah, that's good. That, that's oh, good. I don't want to do that. Oh, God, I clicked the wrong thing. Okay, there. Okay. No, nothing is going to print. So, okay. So, that's good. Um, Let's move on. Okay. Wait. Run. All right. Final char. Uh, dollar sign there. Okay. For G12. What is the literal value and what is the name constant? What in the world? That's like a simple one. <laughs> okay. The literal. Okay. The literal value is. We, we technically just wrote something like this. <laughs> I'm like. But this is a string, yeah. <laughs> okay, so wait. So it will it get harder though. Like this exam, it, is, it will test your basics, but it will get harder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have to start somewhere. <laughs> right, wait, I'm writing this down. Okay, G16. I'm going to ask him about this on Monday. I'm be like, what did these random letter and number coordinations i mean j16 g12 <laughs> like what is this from like yeah, yeah what is that yeah and like i was so confused <laughs> i thought it was like a, i don't know maybe, maybe it's like yeah, like you said it's probably from the book or from yeah, like, an exam, like a set of like values you know j is like the easy ones or not <laughs> i don't know like okay weird. it seems j like it, it is super easy though j16 so Literal, exactly. Literal value. And then October is a constant. Yeah. Okay, let's start it. Attack passing is a manual and must be added by the programmer. While type conversion is automatic and performed by the computer. Oh, so he wants to get he wants to get technical. Okay. <laughs> no, because this one, like when you typecast it, you, you know what that means, right? When you're type casting it. Mm -hmm. But then with type conversion. Um, versus type conversion. You guys talked about type conversion, or I feel like we he brought that up to us like once. Okay. Yeah. Like, so yeah, this is true. So like, usually when you're typecasting it, uh huh, uh, it's like when you're putting the int, uh, you know, in parentheses or like the double. Right. And when you're converting, it's like what you did in the. I remember that 3.25 and 3.3.0. Yeah. That's type conversion. It just converts it. You didn't do any casting, right? It just converted it automatically. Okay, got it. So that's true, yeah. And then um, what's it called? Uh, what was I gonna write? And then definitely, I I really hate these like true or false ones. So just. What the best way you you probably already know how to do these ones. So just go back to your notes and then like pick mm -hmm. out the ones he could ask you for Joe Paul. Right. Yeah. Um like automatic. Okay. Um, so this one is true. Yeah. K17. Got it. Okay. And then this one, I'm gonna pull up. Okay, so this one, let, let's uh, maybe I yeah, look at mine and let's try to see if we can build it from scratch. Yes. I thought at first it was like a really difficult one, but like maybe I'll ask you to uh, explain it to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's always some merit in that. Like, like, oh, I thought it was a difficult one because this was like the easiest one. I was like, what the hell is it? Why is it asking? That's so us funny. <laughs> okay, maybe he was trying to give us a break. <laughs> okay. He felt bad. Um, wait, where'd it go? Wait, oh, there's just here. Okay, there. I'm putting it here in the corner. Okay. Um, now, rename. Um, what did you name that? Oh, problem M12. That's the thing. Okay. Problem M20. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Grabbing that. 
<laughs> type it. Okay, that's uh, okay. So I mean, yeah. So you do that first. That's always good. And what's okay. next? Well, let's see what you did. So, um, write a single Java statement that declares an assigns to uh, that declares an assigns to a constant, an arithmetic expression that calculates the closest integer equal to the number of the in. 75,890, that is really specific. Interesting. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> oh, this was, oh, is that it? Oh. That's it, right? Do you understand the question or like the statement? Yeah. Like, okay, like, I'm why, gonna write. Why, why, why do you need to do this one? <laughs> yeah, maybe you, I'm just guessing he was trying to be nice, like both out. Okay. Um, okay. Wait, no, it didn't do that. So I'm gonna do the explanation thing. I okay. really, really, really don't want to write it. So I'm just going to casually. But it's good habit, right? Your professor. Exactly. Said, yeah, it is. Teacher even said it. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, when I mean, I, I'm pretty sure friends, he does it. I'm pretty sure he does it, right? You've seen him do it. No, right? he doesn't. He doesn't do it? Nope. Oh, wow. Uh, I class, know. I mean, in a professional way, he would do it. In the class classroom setting, it's too long. To, yeah. Uh, Picky and picky. I feel like a lot, like, oh my gosh, the people in my class, the boys in my class, because I'm the only girl. Um, the what happened to the other girl? Oh, she dropped out. Oh, no. Are you serious? She's gone. That's so, hey, you're, you have guts, so that's good. Just stay. I was like, I'm staying <laughs> here, so. Is she going to wait for the Python version? Uh, probably. <laughs> I mean, she I, was like, I, had a, I was like, hey, where did you go? Like, I didn't see you in class. And she goes, oh, yeah, I'm done with that. And I was like, oh, it's not bad. no. It's not bad. I was like, why? Yeah. She goes, no, no, no. It's just, it's it's too much for me. And I was like, okay. I see. Yeah. Like I said, like, you either love code or you hate it. It's just exactly. Like yeah. Throughout. She just didn't like it. And I was like, okay. But it, I did start out, like, for me, I did start hating it. For, there's people that hate it and end yeah. up loving it. It's it's because like once you see more of it, it gets easier. It's harder in the beginning though. No, but I liked it. I mean, it's difficult. You like it? Okay, that, that's good. But I yeah. enjoy it. Like I enjoy. <laughs> you doing enjoy it, obviously. No one. That'll be crazy. <laughs> People like, who don't like to code. What? Yeah. Crazy. It's, at the end of the day, it's it's really just like yeah, like you're gonna do something with it. It's gonna make your life easier. Exactly. Because then you're writing these programs. Um, right. If you don't want to be that guy that would like, you know, figure it out. It's like, I mean, what I see code, if you love math, I don't know if you love math, but like code is like math for me. Yeah, math is like, it depends <laughs> yeah, okay. on what type of math it is. Okay. Like, I was just I not a fan math. of algebra. I, 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 don't, I, I don't segregate. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Like, I'm, when it comes to like, okay, so instead of taking pre-calc this year, I just decided I was going to take it over the summer next year and I was going to take that. Yeah, pre Pre-calc is like one of those, like, you just have to pass it. You know? Yeah, exactly. I calculus, was... calculus, though. You definitely have yeah. to take your time. Yeah. I have to, I'm taking pre-calc over the summer next year, and then I'm going to take calculus yeah. the senior year, and then I, I'm taking stats right now. So I'm going to oh, take, you're, you're take stats, stats right next year. Are you guys using a software for stats? No. Oh, man, okay. Or at I, least I knew, not yet, but. There was this person that was taking stats in high school that was using software already. I was like, oh wow, God. you guys are already using software in, in high school? I think they use it in AP because a friend of mine is already in AP. AP oh. stats? Yeah. That's what I'm going to take senior year. Oh, so you are going to be using it. Okay. You yeah, should, um, probably. You should, you, you, if you ever hear this, you should definitely, it's easier than Java, but go um, study some R. It's called R. Just R? Yeah. R like, like the statics R. thing. Yeah, there's R in statics, right? Or static stats. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's not R, it's that. It's, okay, anyways, um, so what, what do you do? So, okay, so this, this is that is. round function I was telling you about, right? Yeah. So what does this Why did you put math? You, you put math because it's object-oriented. So, like, okay. math is the, the class. Okay. And then, and then round is its function. I'm writing that. Object-oriented. Object-oriented. What what's, like, another example you can give me? Or that one? That you would like that that you would substitute for math. Like square or power. Square okay. S Q R V, I think, and then power. That power. That pow. Okay. And then for these ones, um, you know, in like you could definitely, there's a lot of people that use Java. You could put in like math, you know, in Google, you could put in math 
functions Java. It'll Sorry. give you all of this. I'm too lazy to remember this number. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Divided by 12. I want to look at the question again. Right, okay. a single Java. Okay. Okay. Where did, why did you put 12? This might be really obvious, but I'm confused. Oh, because um, it, oh, this is not the actual question. And, yeah, this yeah. is not the actual question. I, I, obviously, I'm letting you figure it out. <laughs> oh, into the part. I, I yeah, got it's it. missing that part, but you know, I mean, that's conversion. Yeah, I got it now. I understand. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. and then I'm just gonna put output. Okay. So this is a program, right? Yeah, it asks you to do to write a program. Yeah, so you have to do the whole thing. Right, a single job. Oh, it's a single Java statement. Never mind, it's not a program. Um, so not? I would just, yeah, I would just like uh, write line number ten. Just this. It's a statement. It's like it's asking you to. The the question is asking uh... you to do a or telling you to do a statement. That's the difference. Like statements are one liners, and then like okay. programs are all of this. Right. Okay. Wait. Where is? Okay. M20, I'm just gonna write this down. I started writing the programs, by the way. R writing the what one? Like I started like getting some of the programs that we had already done and like written them down by hand. Oh, how's that? Yeah, like, does it make more sense it's though? It's difficult. <laughs> it is difficult, but the thing is, writing. there's a lot of writing, that's why Java sucks. It's the same thing. <laughs> um, if you were to, like in Python it's less writing, but what okay. I'm saying is the, the more you write it, right? Is the better yeah. you're acquainted with like, Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you last time. Um, I think I just breezed through it, but I don't know if you're gonna get tested on it. You mm -hmm. already know what final is, right? Like final int, final is the yes. constant. And then what about public and and static? Do you know what public and static stands for, or what it is? Like, what if you did? What if public yeah. was private? Oh, well, the opposite of public would be private. <laughs> right. So public. I'll just explain it so that you have is it in the your type mind. of class. I'm guessing. So for the most part, when you're writing these programs, like classes, mm -hmm. you know, public class, uh -huh. uh, like you, you have, they call it namespace. So okay. everything in like program is, they like to categorize things. Mm -hmm. You want to put people in a box kind of deal. Okay. <laughs> but like when you're doing, uh, and the reason why is um, they call it namespace. So you have okay. this, you have this public class and inside okay. this public class, you have this method, public static void main. This is the main method. But when you're putting it, and then, so you have multiple classes in a program. In this case, you right. only have one. If you have multiple classes and then you want to access like the classes, you have to make it public to everyone, right? Right. And that's what public is. It's like accessible to everyone outside the program, like outside this class. If you make it private, there's a cage, you know, you, you cannot access anything inside. Got it. And then static, uh, static is more difficult. Um, you're going to get to it. At, uh, maybe like in halfway through you know this class okay is you guys will talk about like object oriented programming mm -hmm. and then like when you have a class i kind of i kind of explain it last time when you have a class that's the what ends up happening is you're creating this uh this factory or a recipe and then when you create like when you um, call out the object right then you're, you're it's an instance of that class it's like, like a, you know, you run that factory and then you get an instance of that class. If right. you do, if you put static in your main program, which is what this is, public static void, right? Okay. This, this static means you don't have to create an instance. Okay. And then create it like, you know, creating an instance is creating like a soldier of that army or that, you know, a cupcake of that recipe. Okay. Like it's like creating an instance of that recipe but in this case, you don't need to um, create an instance. You can just use the recipe or, or the factory. You can just go get, right. get inside. Like, and what the, I don't know, like for, for me to understand that, if, uh, you know, in the beginning, it, it would be more difficult. I would just ex say, like right now, just uh, assume that static means you don't have, like just know the definition. You don't have to create an instance. Okay, I'm writing it down. Later on, it will, it will make more sense. Um, you don't have... You don't have to create an instance. Yeah. An instance. Got it. Okay. 
Okay. So I just want to compile this real quick. All right, let's see. Does this, did I? Oh, that's a, that's uh, a, a, it's a comment, right? Yeah. Wait, do I have to put this? Yeah, you always have to put that, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, there you go. There you go. Would I have to give him the answer? No, I think it's a, it just says write a statement. Okay. You only have to write number, line number 10. Got it, okay. And that was, oh, that's why he put a single. Yeah, oh. yeah. He, I saw something like, um, I don't know if you, you are the one that, do you remember he said that don't write like a lot of programs don't don't give him a program and i also i also saw something that you sent me that he yeah said, i don't want you guys just sending me the word document i want you guys to send me the java file yeah that took me like <laughs> an hour to figure out i was just staring uh, at the at the java uh like program and i was like how do i like, like dub double because it's like double work for you and then him double exactly work i was like <laughs> So I spent, I spent like 20 minutes <laughs> trying to figure it out. And then he was like, we're doing this from now on. And I was like, uh, he did. <laughs> oh, 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 for real? Like, so he didn't know that it would take that. It would be double timing. Yep. <laughs> well, obviously for the most part, like when they, when people turn these in, it would be the Java file. Yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of like homework, you know, like for everyone. Exactly. It's, I was just like, <laughs> oh my gosh, whatever. Okay. But. I figured it out. Okay, so we're done with this. Great. Okay, so all, all of that, does it make sense? Like, all of, yeah. I thought it would be more, but like, yeah, it looks, sounds. So did I. Yeah. <laughs> Are there more? Is there more? <laughs> there's there's I don't this. Think we're that much. Okay, let's see if we can. Yeah, click I wonder on if that I can one. like click on it and then it'll look. No? It says like it's locked though. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Oh, is it because it's like due already? It's probably because of. Yeah, due. because he was like, you can go. I'm going to. Okay. I actually kind of want to open this video. It's two o'clock. Oh, that was my Siri. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, yeah, people are always like, Isabella, your computer makes like the weirdest noises for no reason. <laughs> it does that every hour? Yeah, every hour. <laughs> that's, like, that's a weird thing to I do. I was in the that's middle of like, a good thing. <laughs> it was so bad. No, I was in the middle of an in-class essay in, in school and I forgot to put my computer on mute. And in the middle of the class, she just goes, it's one o'clock. And they all looked at me and I wanted to cry. I, think I figured yeah, it's, it's like the funniest thing, but like, it's funny though. So it's, it's funny. <laughs> no, my teacher was like, that is so cool. She made me like put it on her computer too. Because yeah. I lose track of time like, all the time. It's so bad. So I like to have someone tell me what time it is. I see. I see. Okay. Let's look. What, what is this supposed to be though? This is the set, the whole thing. Oh my goodness. Okay. No, I have, um, I have where I'm supposed to start that. Okay, there. Okay. That's my teacher. <laughs> I'm first going to okay. um, go over the largest product and powers problem. Then I'm gonna go through the solutions to the uh, problems that I wrote, right? The ones that were PDFs that were inside of um, mm -hmm. Schoology. And then um, I'm oh. going to go over the AP classroom problems. <laughs> Ryan. Uh, and then I'm going to talk about the assessment. And then I'm going to spend whatever time is left over answering your questions and reviewing the notes. Great. Uh, okay. 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 So here we go. Let's go skip some of the parts. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to yeah. see. Okay. okay. All right, okay. Here, maybe. Yeah. Wait, let's see. Does he, like, you can only. And then I need to. Which one like, is this one? I don't even know. I one. don't know. Wait. Oh, this this is a. Uh, I don't think we did this one. Okay. No. I appreciate you getting here on time. I say no. We we did do this one. We did. Do today. Is this the three, isn't this the three number one? Numbers. You're given two numbers. And, and, you have to, two numbers. Yeah. and I think mm -hmm. I told you in the problem it was like one day. Um. Oh yeah, we did do this. We did do this. Yeah, we did. Um. Yeah, um yeah. I want to see where he puts the AP ones. Okay. We can. Okay, we already did all that. Okay. Okay. Oh, Sydney. <laughs> um, okay, this, okay, perfect. Uh, okay, I see. So this is the first one. Let me, okay, there. 
Okay, let's see. consider. Oh, okay, that's the. I guess that's he already gave us the answer. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe th let's try to interpret it. Like, yeah. it's really hard to uh, see what the equation is, but. <laughs> yeah, okay, I can tell it to you. I can, I can, it's um. Wait, I'm wondering. I know they said you could zoom in Zoom. Uh, can I? Wait. But like I couldn't figure it out. I don't know how people zoom. zoom. Uh, more. Um. That's, that's bad syntax. Oh wait, I can annotate it. Okay, great. Because I was. You can like, annotate it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. I'm gonna answer. Uh, can quick. answer C also technically be? Wait, right? no. We want to pause her. Um. <laughs> wait. Wait. <laughs> I can answer C can be right? Let me see. Um, is that a valid question? <laughs> that was my friend Sydney. Oh, yeah. I think a lot of these, let me see. Uh, power. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, maybe it could be right. Okay. X I did try that before, though. Plus. Oh, wow. Use my horrible. You, you, could be, you could be a teacher, honestly. <laughs> I tried yeah. doing the annotation because I have an iPad. I have an iPad. Uh -huh. Which is like easier to write, right? With like the stylus. Yeah. But when I try to use the zoom, like the, what you're doing right now, it, uh -huh. it's so ugly. Like I don't know how you're doing it. Like you're doing it pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I think that's it. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so that's not that's not bad. Let's so how would you do that if it was you didn't know the answer? What would the first thing you would do? Okay. So it's supposed to, it's intended to calculate and return this expression. Okay, yeah. great. And this is a function. So, what, what we have right here, just to like extend it, this is a function. This is not your main method. So return missing code. Yeah. So the method works as intended. Okay. So this is pretty much writing out what this expression is. Yep. Yeah. Great. And then return missing code. I'm going to pretend I don't know that that's the answer. <laughs> um, what is that mean <laughs> okay so it's kind of like that math thing that we said the math that round Remember okay. that one? the math that round um, yeah so going back to classes and then instances uh-huh so object oriented program this will be like the generality of programming like when you see this math dot like when you everything after the the dot is like the method the function the property of the math class okay. So square root, since it takes in like an argument, you know, okay. the dot square, the, since it takes in an argument, it's a method of the math class. Okay. The math dot square root is the method square root. A method is something that takes in an argument that gives, that operates and gives you an output. That's great. Okay, so For the most part, that's what it is. But there's also something called properties where it doesn't give you anything. It, it just stores a value. Okay. But like, let me let me see. Um, okay, so that's what that is. And then what is the what does ABS stand for? Absolute value. Okay. Absolute. Wait, I want to just write that down so I know. Okay. Um, I'm really bad at like when people like shorten words. I. Just... That's what it is. It's um, most a cryptic language. That's all coding for you. Like, no. <laughs> it's, it's not okay. bad, actually. I, I like it more than the because it takes too long to write absolute value. Right. right. I mean, it's better right. than writing the whole thing. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, of course, the beginner in the beginning, you have to always know what it means. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like the way they have this like answered is not really how it's like written. So, you know how like it's e, right? The answer is e. Yeah. Just look at it. Like, why? And let me let me ask you. Why did they put an absolute value? Let, let me I don't ask. know. Is there an absolute value in the written expression? No. <laughs> I know, right? So, then why, why, <laughs> why? And let me think. Um, is that absolute value? Is that? Oh no, it is an absolute value. It is. Yeah, I'm looking at it, but you really. <laughs> I thought it wasn't one. <laughs> I, I can't see it. That's why. Oh uh, wait. It is an absolute value. It looks like a vertical line. What this? No, no, like the vertical oh. line. Oh, this. The a, the a minus b. There's a vertical line, right? this actually hold up oh I... yeah oh my gosh i wrote this that thing, incorrectly thing right that thing right there yeah <laughs> i wrote that incorrectly that just shows my vision is not not good either blind leading the blind 
literally. Yeah. No, That's but um, why that, I should that, probably that, be that wearing my glasses. Sense, <laughs> then it makes okay. sense. Yeah. Better. <laughs> because I was like, well, then that would e- that would even make more sense because that doesn't have absolute value there. But yeah. I just really yeah. That's why I was like, I was looking at those. I was like, are those parentheses? But is this okay. the th- the thing I'm thinking? Right, let me think. Uh, oh, it it is inside the square. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, that is an absolute value. Okay, great. So we've established that. Yeah. Um. Okay. So the P O W. What does that mean? P O W. Okay, it's a uh, power. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, power. Yeah. Not as exciting as I thought. Okay. Prisoner of War. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. I know it's like math that pow, math that square root, math that abs. That's all just um, methods. Okay, great. You're gonna learn more okay. about different things. Uh, math is your first class. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like <laughs> math is the first class here, but there's other ones. There's there's the scanner class, which I don't know if you guys learned that yet, but I, no. that's a pretty common one. It, but yeah, anyways, it's like always the case. You you have this class, and then everything. It's inside that class you put a dot, which accesses its function. So square root is inside the math class. Absolute value is inside the math class. So that's why you do that math that that you know that um, method name because that's the only way you can call it in um, in Java. Um, another way would be to take. Oh, we're not gonna. I'll tell you, but I, I don't want to you know show you because like they're they're not actually expecting you guys to know that yet. But uh-huh. you can actually take out this math dot by declaring it up top outside your um, main method okay but we're, we're yeah don't don't think about that for now just put it in the back of your mind <laughs> okay i'll put that away um okay so i'm gonna look at this so it'd be math squirt <laughs> yeah <laughs> parentheses math dot pow and yeah. so then it'd be x plus y comma two what two. is that so that's like x to the second power and y to the second power. Good, good. Okay. But they just wrote it. Oh, so she was asking if you could like, can you see my cursor? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Okay. So they were asked, she, she was asking if it would be right if you could put, declare that it was like. In that one? Uh, but I, I don't tried, think that would be right. I tried doing that, but like, I think it doesn't work in like Java. Like. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing. It doesn't. It's not defined. So that's what you have to do is math that power. Okay, got it. So, in other languages, that's valid, but not in Java. Right, not in Java. Yeah. It's trying to trick us. Then. I don't know why it's like that, but you know, <laughs> you just have to remember. Like a lot of times, I think the only thing, the only thing that will probably work is like all these you know, the basic arithmetic, plus minus times like in a division, and then there's another one, modulo. Do you know which one is the modulo one? No. The percentage sign. Okay. Okay. All right. Then math. Okay, so then they were asking. So the missing code. This is just like a more like, like detailed way to find the answer. In a sense, yeah, that is um the missing code, right? Right. Because it won't run. Um, it won't run if you just type in like whatever you have up top. Right. Well, obviously. Yeah. I have to add that. Okay. Yep. Got it. Okay, I'm writing this down. Because um, math. Actually, you know, it'll be so much easier, Isabella. <laughs> what? Just take a it. photo. Or take a photo. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of trying to. <laughs> Write that all down. Okay. Yeah, you do that for the videos too. Okay. Uh, wait. Okay, I'm clearing. Clear all my drawings. And how do I? Okay, there. Okay. Um, Actually, do, do you have a snippet? You could just use a snippet. What do you mean? It's like an app, like that you can download. It just okay. takes like. I'll look that up. Snippet? Yeah, snippet. It's like a scissor thing. I think you you probably already have it. Maybe. If you type in, oh, it's a Mac. Never mind. I don't know if you guys have that snipping tool. Snip. Wait, we're gonna look that up. Snipping tool. No. Snipping oh. tool for Mac. 
I'm looking this up. Is there a snipping tool for math? Yeah. Oh, there was one. Grab. I think it's called. Yeah, grab. there's the there's these. Do you guys have grab? Grab. Yeah. So it's so like snipping. Yeah, I think it's grab. Which one? Grab it. <laughs> I mean, that's the one. It's why well, you have to pay for it. So try um, it's not in there. Wow. See, that's what I that's why I stick to Android or like Windows. <laughs> <laughs> it's like another reason why Apple is just not up to par. I mean, like every sing, every two years, yeah, it becomes obsolete. That's true. Yeah, but it's, it's okay though. <laughs> yeah. I have an iPad, so that, I can't really say much. Yeah, I had I had an iPad with like the stylus and stuff for a while, and I used to take notes on that because yeah, how, how is that? Like, it's, I was it's like, good. I wasted, I was wasting so much paper. I just, I love taking notes, and I, I know was, like, an iPad so yeah. bad, and I was like. I have to like find a better way to do all of this. And yeah. then I got an iPad and I was doing it. And then something happened that okay. I was like updating my iPad and all of my notes just deleted. And I was like, this is why I don't like technology. And I returned it. <laughs> I was nah. like, nope. That's weird though. I never had that happen. Oh. It was horrible. It was absolutely it horrible. It wasn't saved in the cloud. I don't know. No, well, I, that's what I thought, but I guess I didn't save it correctly. And it was just saved like in the app or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was not fun. I was so mad. I needed them all for finals and they were gone. <laughs> I always back it up. Anyways, okay, let's look at this. I consider the following code. What is printed as a result of this? Okay, um, let's look at it. Uh, it it's another one of those things where- you, Wait, you... I'm moving it because I like can't see where he pointed it. Oh, even worse. Okay then. Um, so, line, double. Printed as a result of executing the code segment. Would I have to put that into? You could. You could put it. You, you could technically just look at it. Like so, five point five minus two point five. What is that? That's like three. 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 That's right. And then so um, and then so x is three, and then uh, what about y? Five point five. Y is also three. So five point five becomes it rounds it down, right? So it, oh, that's right. That's right. It five point so, five rounds it down to so, so five. To five. So that's two point five. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that, that that makes sense, right? It's, it's yeah. um three minus two point five. There you go. Oh. <laughs> See? That wasn't bad. Okay. That's not the the more you do that, the better you, you don't have it's like the calculator, you know? Like you shouldn't yeah. like depend on the calculator, right? Exactly. <laughs> Wait, we, okay. So that's that one. That wasn't that bad. He's still explaining it. Um. Oh, oh we're already, no. Oh, that was fast. It, that was... it took so much time and he just breathed. Okay, Wait, okay. did he skip three? So try, try playing it. Other questions? I don't, I don't think there are since we- Oh, there, uh, he did it. Maybe he did, it seems oh, like he was going to. No, he's straight. Oh, there. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, the, which of the following best describes the result of combining the code? Uh, okay. Let's see if we can do our mental math thing here. Yippee. Okay. So, uh, which of the following best describes the result of combining? Okay. Okay. So, so what's the first thing? What's the first thing? Like, usually, like when um, when I explain these, uh, I usually start. You know, like I think you should try it too, because um, the the better you are at it, like the better you understand it once you finally code it. Okay. So you start with like int w equals one. Right. So what happened there? What what variable do you, do you get? Do you have w, right? Right. Okay, so that's the first line, second line. Right. So now you declare what? An x. x. And you assign it w divided by two. So then it'd be one divided by two. And then, but it assigns it to x, which that is an integer. What happens to it? an integer, one half? What what is it rounded to? To to one. To zero. Or no, right? round. Yeah. Okay. So to zero, we get it rounds it down. So x is zero, w is one. So the third line. What happened? I'm writing down the x is zero. I'm gonna forget. Okay. <laughs> um, double y equals three. Okay. So w one x zero y three. One then, zero three. One zero three, and then z 
you declare an integer z and you assign it. So when you do this x plus y, you do that first because inside the parentheses. Right, so that would be uh, zero plus three, which is just three. And then so integer would be three. Three. And z is also an integer, so it should be three. Let's say that. And then what's our choices? Uh, uh, code segment compiles without error. It's not compiled. Z no, it worked. The code does not compile because the integer three cannot be assigned to the double. No, it worked. It should work. We've done this before. Yeah. I think that's why it was so fast. Any because, questions yeah. on number three? <laughs> yeah. <There right>. <laughs> that's how I was like, he goes, any questions on number three? No, okay, great. <laughs> we got it, we got it, okay. Okay, we done? Wait, oh wait, before he switches that, I'm just gonna take a picture of that. Okay. Um, just so I can look at these. Um, where's my photo? I like the iOS 14, I redid my whole like um, home screen. And oh, now yeah. I don't know where anything is. <laughs> I yeah. have no idea. <laughs> no, I, look, I don't know where anything is on my phone. It's so bad. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, is he just not talking? Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Um, is it still spinning? Okay. Question. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Okay, there we go. Let's try it first before we answer it. What is printed as a result of executing the code? So a lot of these are like this. So it's really, he's going to give you a lot of these in the test. And I think you kind of get it, right? Like nine, yeah. 99%, 99, 99 okay? 90, yeah, I would say like 98. <laughs> there's there's like small yeah. things, but let's go through it. What's the first thing that happens? Okay, so, so dub, double X equals 4.5. And then? So I would have to... You put that X inside the, the put that, yeah, the put that right? in. So, so that you, would be, you round it down. Right. So before. Yeah. Before you times it too. Right. And then it's eight. So integer Y. Should be eight, right? Should be eight. And then okay. you out print Y. So it would be eight. So I'm so guessing on my estimated four, guess. Of, there we go. Four. We got it right. Awesome. He's gonna explain it for a little bit. Good. This is good. Yeah. This is exactly what I wanted. Like to do more of these. Oh no! I don't want to see the answer. Ah. <laughs> okay. Whatever. It's fine. Good. We're just gonna pretend like we don't know. So, okay. the following codes are intended to interchange the values of the integer variables x and y. Assume that x and y have been properly declared and initialized. Oh, we did something like this. Okay. Okay. So temp equals y yeah temp equals or sorry x x i see i, I seen this question in, um, in python actually you could do the, wow. this exactly the same question exciting and then you'll do the same thing code. <laughs> so the code segment works as intended okay x so, so let, let me ask you like um do you know what it means it means just to like assign it right mm -hmm. Different things. but you have this like dummy variable temp this dummy variable has to be, um, you, you have to have it as X because then you can't say X equals Y in the, you know, in the answer in the right. second line and put Y equals X because X now equals Y. Okay. You, you just, in the previous line, you put X equals Y, right? Yeah. So if you put Y equals X, then you're making it equal Y. So that's why you, you have right. to store it in a, in a dummy variable temp in the beginning okay. so that it doesn't get um, replaced, right? Yeah. Look at the other choices. Why wouldn't it be right? Okay. So there's always some merit in that. Like, oh, like A, why is A not right? Um, well, it's sets X equal to Y, but temp shouldn't equal X. And like where are you getting that from? What why is that? Wait, oh my god, you need to play it. Um because there's one word that um can explains this. <laughs> It's in there. Or like two Integer. <laughs> the um, uh, declared initialize. So you, you you initialized and declared X, right? Right. But you didn't do it for Y. That's why for A is y. not right. Okay. So we've got that one out of the way. Okay, what about C? This one, C. Why is that not right? Well, 
you already declared and initialized X. So that was the reason that this wasn't right. And Y, these shouldn't be like this. It should be X equals Y. It kind of like C kind of seems like you could make it, like it seems like it would work, right? What, but the thing is, let me, let me see, because Y equals X, you declared it and in, initialized it, right? Right. And, and then you said X equals temp and temp was equals X in the beginning in the, in the beginning which is like a little weird because then it would work <laughs> x equals temp and temp was x then why is that one wrong? it's probably because um you know how like you have temp equals x in the beginning and then x yeah equals temp? okay then when you see something like that that's uh -huh. already like it seems like it's already been assigned right it's not that it's not the right answer you okay. always want to like see like temp equals x and mm -hmm. then for b y equals temp that's okay because temp is not being assigned like twice oh okay let well, me take a picture of this Before so you don't want to do some interchangeable you know you've already assigned it so c is not right because you're doing okay. something got it what about d i have no idea that one's confusing me same, same thing yeah you're making temp equals x and y okay and then e what about that one Temp. Um, temp. All of the all of them are equal x. <laughs> oh, oh no. Yeah, like temp yeah. equals x, y equals yeah, x, yeah. temp equals x. What the heck is that? That's incorrect. <laughs> yeah, the rule there is um the right hand side should just happen like uh like for example you sh you shouldn't like temp equals x is okay and y equals x that happen mm -hmm. only like twice but then you're not doing some interchanging and then you put x back. You're going to see this again. Um, this is how you code it. You, you usually initialize a dummy variable mm -hmm. so that you can store it somewhere else. And then you make it equal that other variable. And then you put back what y equals. Right. So temp is like the, the, you know, the median. That's how you pass the x value to okay. y. Okay. That makes sense. OK, let's move on. <laughs> Next one. When you're all done. Oh. You want X to equal what Y was equal. Thank you. We got to. <laughs> we know. What are the next? We appreciate it. So our very storage value that X has. Yeah. Oh, gave us some. Uh, okay, let me see. Okay. Which one uh, signs a random integer? Random integer. Two Another more than 10. Method of math, okay. In inclusive, it's inclusive. Or N equals random number, right? Yeah. And then this is an integer. Yeah, it's an integer. Okay. Random. And usually when you do this random one, um, it's from one to ten, right? Right. Uh, uh zero to one. I meant zero to one. It's zero to one. Oh, okay. It's, it's a decimal. Okay. Between and then so that's how you times it by uh you times it by ten. So that you get you can actually get integers from one to ten. Just remember that math random math that random gives you mm -hmm. uh, gives, gives you from zero to one like any random variable from zero to one. Okay. But this is the other thing. It's inclusive of zero, and then you're gonna learn this. I don't know if you've heard of data science before. Probably, yeah. Probably, it sounds familiar. And I I don't know if you're interested in it, but I am actually. But um, <laughs> like what it is in data science is um. When you're, uh, you know, doing some like manipulation of, mm -hmm. of like data frames or like an Excel or like arrays, mm -hmm. usually the left value, like zero in this case, math random does go goes from zero to one. Mm -hmm. Usually the left value zero is within the range. Okay. But the, the one, the right value, it's not. Same with the random, zero to one, in it's including the zero, but it's not including the one, and that's why you're plusing the one. Okay. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. And then what and you're timesing by 10 because you want to make it a whole number. Right. But then the moment you times it by 10, you still have the decimals, right? Mm-hmm. So that's how you put in that, then plus one. Or right, what does he do? Oh no, they did times 10 and then you made that integer and then they plus one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But that one's wrong because he they didn't put the parentheses there to make yeah. it an integer. I was looking at that one. Okay. And then the rest of them 
these two, they didn't plus one. And then this one, they plus one before we times it by 10. If, yeah, this one right there, you always have to, if it, the moment you times it by 10, you have to round. Okay. It becomes a whole number and it rounds it down when you do the integer. Got it. When you, when you cast the integer, it always rounds it down. So. Oh, no, what? That was. There is another way you could you could put the parentheses of the of the integer when you after you put the plus one, but they don't have it there. They don't have that one. Yeah, they don't. Okay, but you understand it though, right? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Okay. Oh my god, they gave me no wait. There's a different one. Yes, yes, it is. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's look at this one. Min max. Okay. Um min max inclusive assume that min and max are integer variables and that the variable of max is greater than the value of min or sorry the value of max is greater than the value of min double random number equals max dot random parentheses so, okay okay explain to me how you would do this one okay so which is the following could be used to replace missing code okay um so integer number. Um, okay. So I would put integer, obviously, in parentheses, as it says. Okay. In <laughs> okay. Um, why, why do you put then, integer? Why, why are you putting integer though? Because I need to find the integer variable because yeah because it's like you're assigning it to an integer uh, yeah. Data type. yeah okay great so and it, it used to be a double right the the yeah. first line set like that one is a double yeah so that's why you cast it an integer first so okay. that like it becomes an integer okay yeah so then next um we need to find the random number. So that's why we put in parentheses. We put RN. Yeah. Then we have to multiply it. Okay. And then before you multiply it by the random number, you have to put in parentheses. So the random number, what, what does it give you? Zero to? Zero to one. But not including? Uh, 10? Not including one. No. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Zero to one, not including one. Okay. Not including one. So then, then you put in parentheses and you put max minus min mm. plus why one. Why are you doing that one? Because you need to find the the value between min and max. Okay. Good. Okay. And, and then you have to minus them. And then since it's not including one, good. Okay. You have to add one. And then okay. you put it back in a parentheses. So then you multiply it. And then you put that in parentheses before you can add min. Okay. Because min is. I don't understand why. Wait, I don't understand why you're adding min at the end. Why are you adding min? Um, I, th I think the reason why they're adding, so max minus min plus one, it mm -hmm. gives you the, like the maximum. Mm -hmm. And then it depends on what it's asking. Assign a number, a random integer between min and max. So this gives you like, um, so this gives you the, the difference, you know, mm -hmm. like the, the difference between like the, the max and the min. Okay. This is the integer. And then you're starting off from the min. Okay. The so reason why you're adding the min is like that's your minimum value, right? Right. Okay. And then the max minus min plus one is just the difference between the min and the max. Okay. Does that make sense? Like it's, yes, that it's makes sense. Because you have to start somewhere. So min would be plus min would be where you start. Ma max minus min plus one all in the integer. That, that's just the difference. That's like the 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 let me the steps, the steps, the intervals between min and max. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. Then last one. Let's see. Does this still explain? <laughs> I think this is because this is a long one. 
it, it is a little bit confusing. Oh, no, no, no. Was that the last one? No, there was one more. Okay. Um, wait, let me take a picture of this one real quick. Uh, MC is the okay. nearest integer. Nearest integer, okay. The round vowel to the nearest integer. Okay. Round and vowel. Oh, you're not using math that round. Okay. Okay. They, they could have used math that round. They didn't. Okay, so um, what? What's the oh, best part? Behavior of the code segment. The code segment works as intended. Does not work as intended because vowel and rounded vowel should be declared. Yeah, so I, see that you should, they should have used math that round because this one doesn't work. Yeah. Rounds to the nearest integer only when vowel is positive. Code exactly. This, this is the one I was talking about. Okay. Like it only rounds it to the nearest integer. Once right. you become negative, remember that negative five point one. Yeah. It's not nearest integer anymore. It goes to right. negative six. It would be right. negative five, but then obviously. Right. Right? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And then we, we kind of like, you know, we, we that right there, you just have to know it. Like it's like yeah. really knowing like the ins and outs of um the casting and then the round function. Right. So, yeah. If okay. you were to see this again, would you know that it's E? <laughs> This is like what seven and eight are the more difficult ones. Like seven, or eight, you, you ask like max, e minus min. That that one, they could probably uh, switch it and then like maybe yeah. you can. But and this one, this one, the, the only thing that's hard about this is you have to know that it rounds down. You already know that. But I know that now. So. But then it's, if it's negative, it rounds it up or it oh. doesn't matter. It always rounds right. it up. Cool. Yeah, sort of round the okay. That makes sense. Okay. All right. I think, okay, I think we're um yeah, we're already past the 30. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Did you wanna like um when's your exam again? Monday. Monday. Uh are you good or do you have like other questions? I'm good. Okay, good. So you're you're confident you're gonna get an A, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. For the most part, yeah. <laughs> Let me know what you get though, because um I feel like I I don't know. I said, like I said, 99%. Just, this is my advice. Just, mm -hmm. Don't be too confident. I won't. <laughs> Never am. So that won't be but, hard. So, so just, uh, you know, we already know how, you know, how he's going to test you. He's going to. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to go over, I'm going to have him open up that AP thing for me to do tomorrow. Yeah. I'm probably going to like forget the, the exact like letters of, you know, so yeah. I'm going to take it again tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to watch the rest of that video that he sent me because it's an hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then, yeah. And, uh, and then I'm going to go over our programs that we've done. Okay. But, but yeah, um, I think I didn't really, oh, I saw some of it, but yeah, make, make sure yeah you do write it like by hand and then like, yeah. redo it. I think you get, you get it though. You're, you're starting to get like where the, you know, changing the class name. Yeah. The, the important parts that carry over. Exactly. And obviously, in the end, it's just like you're just gonna build on it. It's like you know Legos. Like you you right. build on what you know. Like, right. And then like the thing is like j just bear with like right because like Java a lot is like you have to accept some some you know you have to accept things in the beginning and not know why. Right. <laughs> and until <laughs> until you finally like learn more of it, more of it, more like of you it. you understand why. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, like um yeah, let me know how it goes, and then j yeah, for next week, just let, like, if you have other things, uh, uh, mm -hmm. we'll go from there. All right. Awesome. Cool. Have a good Thank one. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye.